It's a pleasure for me to be back here in Tamil Nadu and to meet all of you. I always considered this state my second home and I'm happy to be here. I congratulate the Sapta Kadir Law Journal on its Silver Jubilee. So far as I am concerned, Kunjam Kunjam Tamil Terrio. I had started to learn Tamil, but I was taken away too early. You know, after when one comes here, when one is running on 60, it takes a little time to learn a new language. But there can be no two opinions about the richness of the language. It is the oldest continuing language and one of the very few languages which is also official language of a foreign nation that is Singapore. It is spoken in many other parts of the world. <coughs> Tamil Nadu has a very rich history. It has a rich culture. <coughs> I wanted to read the literature, the poems in original, but I could only get to read the translations. I hope sometime in the future, maybe after my retirement, when I can spend more time on language, learning languages, I'll be able to uh, read Tamil literature in original. As a matter of fact, even before I was elevated as, uh, as the Chief Justice of Madras High Court, I was a very regular visitor to Tamil Nadu as a tourist. And offhand I can recollect, I must have come here at least 12 or 13 times between 5th February 2002, when I was elevated as a judge of Calcutta High Court, and 5th April 2017, when I was appointed as a justice of this court. Because of almost two centuries of British rule, first under the East India Company and later directly under the Crown, English has become the official language of the higher courts of this country and it is also a common lingua franca because there are diverse India is a country of unity in diversity or diversity in uni unity whichever way you put it it is referred to as the subcontinent it is huge it is many European countries taken together People speak different languages and uh, perhaps there is so much difference in uh, the language, languages spoken in North India and some of the languages spoken in South India or for that matter East India from where I come that it's impossible to understand unless one makes an active effort to learn the language. But otherwise, it is very important that the laws should be translated into the vernacular language. 
because English is a foreign language and the majority of the people understand, at least in Tamil Nadu, they understand Tamil. They read Tamil. It is only when the laws are translated into Tamil that they understand what the law is all about. Similarly, when the judgments, the reported judgments are translated into Tamil, um, the ordinary people are able to read the judgments and know what the law is all about. I also take this opportunity to congratulate all those of you who are being awarded on this occasion. I wish you all the best. I wish the Law Journal, I wish the <laughs> best and I hope for many years, many more years, you will uh, continue to bring out law journals which will be understood by the common people, by the people of Tamil Nadu and people outside Tamil Nadu. I am really touched by the warmth of your reception. I repeat that I considered Tamil Nadu my second home and after coming here I got the reception that one gets when one comes home. Thank you very much, Nandri.